cannot believe we are here right now. I decided to do a workout challenge back in August and I'm a totally different person. Just kidding, not to be that dramatic. But I have improved my life and it's so insane because it does not feel like that much time has passed. I decided to do this challenge as a personal challenge to myself. It's wild because I look back at my before and I saw no issues. I wanted to get toned, that's for sure. I wanted to go to the gym regularly, I wanted some muscle, I wanted abs, I mean we all, we all want abs. <laughs> I just wanted to try this challenge and see if I could even do it. I am an all for nothing, is that what it's called, all for, all for nothing? I am an, an all or nothing kind of person, there you go. That's just the kind of person I am, I can't like gradually go into things, like I just have to do it straight on. So I feel like when it comes to this challenge, some of the rules can differ. The ones that I followed particularly were these. One 45 minute workout every day, 10 pages of a book. For me, I wanted that to be nonfiction. Drinking at least three liters of water every day, making healthy swaps in my normal diet. And then the last one was taking a progress picture. Okay, so now we reach the first day of the challenge, August 1st, 2023. Okay guys, so it is day one of my 75 soft challenge. It sounds so silly saying 75 soft because I really am a softie. And I swear to God, the universe is testing me. Of course, my electricity just turns off in the middle of the day and it's so hot in LA. I guess the city shut it off for some reason and they're gonna turn it back on tomorrow. I debated whether or not if I should still work out because I have to go back home to like a dark, hot house. But nothing is stopping us and we're gonna get a workout in. And then on the third day, I did do my first in-body scan. So, okay, so start barefoot. Yep, yeah, Should sure. I take off my socks? Yeah, socks as well. Alright, I think I can step off now, right? Yeah, you're all good. Oh, bad news. In the future, if you do come back, it will show how you progress. Okay, cool. Modeling five pounds of fat. It's like a little baby. To get my in-body scan, I took one of my friends from work, Love Mallory. For any of you that have never done an in-body scan, it measures your weight, your body fat percentage, how much muscle you have. And I wanted to do this because we all know that the scale does not give you the full picture. I really wanted to just do one at the beginning, one after 30 days, and then one at the end. So my results for my first in-body scan, my weight at the start is 144.2 pounds. 53.1 pounds of skeletal muscle mass. Body fat mass is 48.3 pounds. My body fat percentage is 33.4. This surprised me that a third of me was fat. That's, that's not the best, but. <laughs> It looks like my basal metabolic rate at this point was 1311 and my total body water is 70.1. I was so motivated in these first two weeks, you guys. I was not missing a workout. I was getting into my reading. The first book I actually started with is You Are a Badass. I definitely have talked about this book on my channel and I read this at a time, the first time when I was going through a huge quarter life crisis and I swear I read it. It changed my life. Like I literally got a job and I got a car right after. So this is my Bible and I had to start this challenge off by reading it again. It's just my favorite. So like I was saying, the first two weeks I was doing super well, but then outside lands came around. So today is August 18th. So it's technically my 18th day of the challenge. I went to outside lands and it was so fun. I saw Kendrick Lamar, Lana Del Rey. I danced at Odessa. It was just so much fun. And I already knew like this festival is gonna be going from Friday to Sunday and I was leaving right after work Thursday night. So I absolutely did not wor work out on Thursday. I had zero time. On Saturday morning though, I did go out for a small run. I was like running for maybe 20 minutes. So I tried to work out while I was there, but it was honestly just hard going to work out and then also like trying to like get ready for the festival. Like it was just too much to do. So this has been my first week back in LA since the festival and I have done zero reading this week. I've really thought about it and I'm going to start over. I wanted to complete this challenge so perfectly, so it was just really weighing heavily on me. My new day one at this point was August 18th.
just finished in at home workout and i'm not gonna lie you guys today was one of those days where it was really really hard to get a workout in i was at a shoot and i needed to be there by 9 a.m today i didn't get home until 7 p.m so when i got home i was just hungry and tired i've also gotten no sleep this week because like it's just been so crazy what really motivated me to work out this is why i'm filming right now is realizing how far i've come today marks my six weeks of this challenge i will say like I feel like my progress physically isn't as drastic as I thought it was going to be, but I'm definitely getting stronger. I feel that for sure. I have some reading to catch up on tonight, um, but I just want to shower and go to bed. Let me pull up and talk about the workouts that I did during this challenge. So I ended up doing my own workout routine. I didn't know like a, a bunch of workouts, so I did dove into so many TikTok workout routines, a lot of YouTube workout routines, and I just pretty much copy and pasted and like did whatever felt right to me. I did this more so I could just stay organized with what to do. I think that's one of the major reasons why people can get gym anxiety is when you go and you literally look like clueless, like not knowing what to do. So I wanted to go to the gym every day with a plan. I'm a little wary about posting this because I am no fitness instructor. For you guys, I will post it here. Honestly, F it, you know, but I will just say like, this is stuff that I have just gotten online doing my own research. Follow at your own discretion, okay? I think I've done maybe two or three active recovery days this entire challenge just because I had the energy to lift weights and do other things. Like I looked forward to lifting weights. It was something I really enjoyed. So unless I was really, really sore, I was gonna do a regular workout. I also wasn't following this perfectly day to day. Like if I wasn't feeling glutes on Monday, then I was like, F I'm gonna do chest today. You know, like I switched it around. Guys. We hit 30 days of 75 soft. Why am I yelling in lowercase? Okay, I can see slight differences in my strength, in my body even. And I do want to emphasize that I also did not change my diet whatsoever. Um, but something that I have changed is I have been just trying to consume more protein in the form of like protein powder. Oh, I will say I have been drinking less. I still go out with friends, but if I do grab a drink, it'll be like a tequila soda try to keep it very low cal just tequila soda with lime so i guess i did make some slight changes in my diet but nothing major i'm not following anything so after 30 days i did another in body scan as well oh so this is actually yeah 30 days from my like original day one basically my weight is now 143 so based on my first one i have lost just a little over a pound. When it came to my skeletal muscle mass, it is now 53.4, so 0.3 pounds. My body fat is down to 45.5. This is about three pounds, I wanna say, of body fat lost. But on a scale, it would only say one, okay? That is my point. A scale does not give you the full picture. And my percent body fat went from a 33.4 to a 31.9. So cool, my basal metabolic rate went up. It started at 1311, and based off this, it was now at 1324. So not only was I burning more calories physically, internally, I was doing the same thing. Also my total body water, it started at 70.1, it is now 71. The girl has been hydrating and it's showing. Guys, this is so exciting to me because it just shows that we are making progress. Who cares if it's not the biggest difference in numbers? Hello, they're going down, that's what we wanna see. So during this challenge, I actually ran my first 5K. Which is so funny because a brand reached out to me, I think it was like Garnier Fructis or a brand representing them, asked if I wanted to go to a rave run in the LA area. Sounded fun. They described it as a 5K at night and there were different stages along the way of the run and you would end at the main stage. I ended up going with two of my friends and I went fully thinking that we were gonna be drinking and just having fun, like, you know, like dancing the night away. Because I literally showed up to my friend's house, we were gonna like drive together, and I was like, okay, so are we gonna shotgun or what? And her boyfriend, really fit guy, and he's like, oh, I don't like to drink before I work out. I was like, oh yeah, but are we like actually working out? Yeah, we were. 
Let's go. Let's go. I'm dying right now. Jesus Christ. I shouldn't have had tacos before this. So they wanted to actually try hard. I just thought it was so funny because I was not expecting it. But I ended up trying hard, you guys, and running this 5K with literally no preparation. Like, I just went full on in. It was a great time. Good workout. I'm so proud that I, I could say I've ran a 5K. The workouts are continuing. I am not only getting leaner. My muscles are not only popping out. But guys, I am getting stronger. But then I have to work Crossroads, which was a music festival in LA. I was working it from Friday to Sunday and the working hours you guys were bad I was starting the day like at 7 a.m. and working until midnight some days So I did not have time to work out those days. You know, I was really really trying to incorporate it I brought my workout clothes with me and stuff. But I just couldn't do it So that was unfortunately like the first break that I had since I restarted this challenge And at this point I feel like I learned a really big lesson and it's to just get it done that is actually something I read from my second book, um, The Atomic Habits. I actually took off the cover because I wanted it to look so aesthetic and I regret it because it's literally just a plain book. So what was I thinking? The second one was The Four Agreements and I feel torn on this one because I felt like it was written in a weird way and then I looked up online that I think it was originally written in Spanish and I bought the translated English version. So it's just so insanely repetitive. I thought I was going crazy, but there is some great lessons in there. You know, at this point, wasn't doing this challenge perfectly but that doesn't mean I should just stop the challenge altogether. I could probably have restarted it, but at that point, like, I was just like, whatever, I'm gonna keep on going. At the end of the day, I'm just happy that I've been doing, for the most part, doing this stuff consistently for over two months. Like, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Now we have reached the last day of this challenge, and that is October 31st. Halloween! I will sadly admit, I did not work out on the last day of this challenge. Guys, it is the day before my last day and I finally got sick. It only took like 73 days or 74. Today's the 74th day. I also went to Vegas this last weekend for a holo weekend. So I did not get to work out the last two days. Challenges like this, Sometimes we're just really really hard because life gets in the way guys. I wanted to work out so Bad. I mean that just goes to show you know life got in the way But I did get my last in body scan the final results of this challenge I did get this done on October 31st my new weight was or is 140.6 I lost like not even four pounds. Imagine if I was just looking at a scale for 75 days and trying to follow this challenge. Like there is no way I would have stayed motivated. My skeletal muscle mass started at 53.1. It is now up to 55.1. So I gained two pounds of skeletal muscle mass. My body fat started at 48.3 went down to 40.5, almost eight pounds of body fat lost. Eight pounds, like that is so much, what? And then my ending body fat percentage, it is now down to 28.9. Basal metabolic rate started at 13.11 and it is now at 1350. My total body water started at 70.1. It is now up to 73. Those are my final results, you guys. I lost like four pounds, but I actually lost eight pounds of fat, which is so, so exciting to share. Also, just overall, I've been sleeping better. My energy's been higher. I love working out now. If a day goes by without me working out, it feels weird, but I would say the biggest change for me is just my relationship with working out and with food and how much better it's been. I actually crave healthy food now. It's really wild to me how we can condition our bodies to live and eat a certain way. It's not about being perfect, it's just about doing it, about being consistent. Even if it's going to the gym for 10 minutes or eating a salad covered in ranch, whatever. At least you're doing something that's a little bit better than what you were doing previously. If any of you follow me on Instagram, I actually have those like highlight bubbles on my page and I've posted a few of my workouts on there. So if you guys wanna like 
see my journey a little bit, check out my IG. I have some videos on there and it, it's so cute to look back. I am just so thankful for what I've gained from this challenge. I'm definitely going to continue doing it, like some parts of it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Love you a ton and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>